So now we want to show you how to troubleshoot the Mini Sigma filter. The first thing we want to do is make sure the DP controller is working properly. And by doing that, what we want to do is just send it into a manual flush first. And what you're going to want to listen for is to make sure that it's actually clicking the DC latching solenoid. So we're going to initiate the flush. This one is going to flush, but we're going to listen for that click. If the controller is flushing the system, then we know that the controller is good. If you're not getting anything to go to the solenoid, to click the solenoid, then you would like to check the batteries first. Make sure your batteries are full. You can also do this in a, your DP app. It has a function in there that lets you know how good your batteries are doing. Once that's done, then we want to take a look at the solenoid on the side here. So now what we want to do is make sure that the solenoid is actually getting the pressure where it needs to be. So the way that we do this is very simple. There is a three-way valve on this particular filter. There's also a new solenoid that is coming with the Mini Sigma filter. It will have one that's green, but very similar to this. And to initiate a flush cycle, you would turn the valve this way, and that would initiate the flush cycle. This would indicate that the solenoid is good and that we're operational with the pressure and everything else. All right, we want to make sure that the piston is working correctly. And the best way to do this is leave the water on. You may get a little bit of wet, but we will release the tube that comes from the valve down. And we're going to make sure that the piston is moving up and down. So when we release it, we're going to have water spray out of the elbow and also out of the tube when it's out of the elbow, it will stop when the piston is moving. So let's go ahead and show you. So watch the elbow here. Piston moves up. When it stops there, it's good. You put this back on, piston comes back down and stops. So now we wanna also check the condition of the scanner shaft. It's very important that the scanner shaft be installed properly or it will not spin. So we're going to show you how to do that. We're going to take off the clamps here. As we take off the clamp, we want to make sure you understand that there's a there's a technique here that we want to make sure you do. You can pry on this a little bit and get it to open. But make sure that you hold the piston with your other hand, or if it falls, you're going to be buying a new one. Release the water out. And we know that this piston is, or this scanner shaft is working well because it's moving right now. So we're going to show you how to make sure that you've got it in the right position. When we take this one off, down in the bottom of the core screen, there is a centering piece. That has to be centered with the scanner shaft here on the bottom. If those aren't meeting up, then it will not spin, it will move up and down. When we assemble this back up, we want this portion to be centered in that bottom core screen. And you know you got it right when it will freely move like this. It's wrong when you've got it like this and it won't spin. So make sure it's in the middle. It's best to do this when you've got the filter out like this. Then slide it in. And the beauty of the Mini Sigma filter is you don't have to have everything centered just perfectly. You can go ahead and just put the partition plate in and push it in and it will center itself. And we've got it in correctly because it does spin. So when we put our drive mechanism back on, slides on and we freely move. So we want to show you how to take apart the valve and also how to put it back together properly as well. Take the two tubes off, loosen the nut here.
when it comes off, there is a spring inside of this. So you want to make sure that the spring stays in, doesn't pop back at you. When it comes out, you'll have the spring right here. Then to get to the piston, what you'll want to do is just get a pair of pliers, gently pull on this, and then just wiggle the piston back and forth just a bit, and it will all come out. Then when you look at this, what you want to look for is to make sure that this O-ring right here is in good shape, that there's no damage to it. This is what seals on the valve itself. If this is damaged, it can also have it the leak. So that's what you want to check for. To put it back together, make sure your spring is inside the cover. And when we put this back together, we want to make sure that the tabs are going to line up into the middle hole. So put this on, slide it down, and it will slide all together like this. That's the way you want to put it back together. Slide this in. Tighten that nut up and just a little snug. Connect your two tubes up and that's how you put your valve back together. Thanks for watching our video today on how to troubleshoot the Mini Sigma filter. Please visit us on our Omniad website, omniadusa.com. Please follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube.